But first, San Antonio voters will be asked to consider a double handoff of a one eight cent sales tax in the upcoming election, which funds linear parks and aquifer protection. But that tax expires next year. There will be two questions on the November ballot on what to do with the tax next. The city wants to use it through 2025 for workforce training and scholarships. After that, VIA, through the Advanced Transportation District, wants the money to go to transit funding. VIA's president and CEO tells Garrett Berger what voters would get for their money. A little tax can go a long way. VIA Metropolitan's top exec says they can use it. They're kind of three buckets, if you will. Jeffrey Arndt says the money would help implement new options like the VIA Link service it's been using on the northeast side and improve bus service in the core area, including frequency. 45% of our service used to run once an hour in the middle of the day, and it will drop to like 3%. VIA also wants to use some of the money for capital and technology projects. And will be planning for an advanced rapid transit system, essentially large buses traveling in dedicated lanes. Though that particular project would require more money than just a sales tax. With additional funding from other sources, especially for capital improvement, including the federal government, uh, we are still moving forward in all the planning that would allow us to move into a federal grant prospect uh, if and when they become available. The sales tax would bring in about $38.5 million each year to the Advanced Transportation District. VIA would get half of that, and the city and county would each get a quarter. However, Arndt says all of those dollars would be dedicated for transit. VIA and its supporters say the agency is underfunded, and they need more money to make public transit work for the people who depend on it. The voters approve VIA wouldn't see the tax money until 2026, but Arndt says having it locked in would mean they can use it to pursue more money. For example, if there's an infrastructure program in the next year or two, for us to be able to leverage those programs, because again, we will have the money to operate uh, assured through the vote. Provided, of course, the voters agree. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.